What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add levels to our project. Okay, so this is the continuation of our lesson for Revit 2022 for architecture. So just a bit of a background what levels are. So levels are finite horizontal planes that act as a reference for level hosted elements so what are these level hosted elements so these are roofs for example floors and ceilings so you create a level for each known story or other needed reference of the building so for example for the first wall or i mean for the first floor or top of the wall or let's say bottom of the foundation okay so for you to be able to add levels you must be in a section or elevation view and when you add levels you can create an associated plan view for that particular level which is what you're going to see okay so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to change our view like what I have said we can only we can only create levels in section and elevation view okay so i'm gonna open the south elevation just double click that and as you can see there's already existing levels in our project so if we're going to zoom in we have level one and level two so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move away my levels from the uh, planting elements that we place last time so i'm gonna click one of the level as you can see level one and level two they are actually linked you can see there's a lock icon so if i'm going to click and hold that small circle so i can drag that away and the level one will follow as well so i'm gonna place it here so i can see it clearly so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to edit the level so for my level 2, so let's say I do not want 10 feet. So let's say I want uh, 12 feet. So I'm going to click that number there, the, 12, the 10 feet. You click that and then you'll be able to change it. So I'm going to type 12. So no need to type the feet icon because that is the current uh, unit in our project. So I can just type 12 and then enter. And Revit will read it as 12 feet okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another level to create a level from the architecture you can see the datum there datum panel so there's the level so the shortcut is LL okay so I'm gonna click the level here and then we have two ways of creating our level so we have the line tool and then we are we also have the peak lines so i'm gonna use the line tool first and then after that the peak lines okay so the line tool i'm just gonna move to see the end of my level as you can see i can align and then from here i can move my pointer until such time i see the 12 feet like that so when you see the 12 feet just click and then notice that before you click automatically it will create a plan view for that particular level that you are going to create because make plan view here is is checked okay so if you do not want to create a plan view for the level that you will be creating so you just need to uncheck that one but for now i'll just leave it check so i'm gonna move my pointer align and then until i see the 12 feet that's the time I'm going to click and then move and align to level 2. There you go. So that's the first method using the line tool. And then notice that you are able now to create level 3 as well. And actually you are able to create a structural plan for that which is we don't need. So we are going to delete this later on. So we only need the level 3 here for the floor plan and ceiling plan. I don't need the structural plan. But that's okay. We are going to delete that later. So I'm going to select modify here to terminate the tool or deselect any selected object. And then I'm going to select again the levels here. Click that. And then click this time the peak lines. 
So you select peak lines and then you specify here the distance or the offset distance that you would like for the next level to be created. So I'm going to change this one. So again, I'm just going to type 12, enter. And then I'm going to hover my pointer just a little over the level 3. And then as you can see, the preview, the dotted line will appear. If, I'm, if I want to create a level lower, let's say from level 1, I want to create a basement floor level. So I'm going to hover my pointer just a little lower than level 1. Because if I'm going to move my pointer a little over level 1, up, so the level that I will be creating is above. So if you want to place or create a level below a certain level using the peak line, so you need to move your pointer just a little below the level that you would like to use as a reference. And then you can click. But for this one, I'm going to create level 4. Zoom out so I can see the preview above. Then click. There you go. And then this time, I want to create a separate level but I just want to use uh, to use it as a reference level for the parapet okay so that's why I do not want to create a plan view but still I want to create a level I'm gonna use this level as a reference for my parapet okay but for this one I'm just gonna type uh, let's say for example uh, 40 40 or let's say how about uh, 4 feet 4 enter and then let's hover our pointer and then click and there you go then after that I will be selecting here modify and as you can see it didn't create level 5 here because we unchecked make plan view option from the options bar now let's try to delete i don't need this level so just select and delete select and delete okay so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to change the name okay so for this one so i click level one click again i will just call this level one and three and then you just select yes so that our view here will change as well would you like to rename corresponding views yes if you do not want that to be shown again just check this one and then it will use the last option that you selected which is yes the next time okay so it's now renamed here as well so for level two so let's say i'll call this zero two floor and then enter this is my um, zero three floor. Enter. And then this is my zero four floor. Enter. And then that, oh no, I think this one should be the roof. There you go. And then this one is the parapet. Then enter. There you go. And then modify. So let's say you want to change the height. So for this one, for the parapet, so I'm going to change this. So let's say I want um, 38 feet and 6 inches. So I can type 38 space 6. So Revit will read it as 38 feet 6 inches. So you can do that and then enter. Okay. And then as you can see, it's now all, it's now overlapping the name of the roof here, okay, of the parapet. So let's edit the level here. So if you click the level of the parapet, you can see a little icon there. It's an add elbow icon. So if you zoom in and then you click that add elbow icon, it will create an elbow. So you can drag that, drag and then you can arrange your level to be nice and tidy. All right. There you go. 
So that's the purpose of the elbow, so that it will avoid some overlapping uh, text or name of the level to make it more uh, tidy. And then if you go to the other end here, you can also click that level if you want to add the bubble there. It's up to you. Okay, you can do that. You can uncheck and then uncheck. All right. So basically, that's how you add levels in Revit. Okay, so that's it for this topic. In our next video, we are going to learn how to add grids. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.